Welcome to Grab and Go Info. Today I will talk about how to use one class support vector machine for anomaly detection. One class support vector machine is an unsupervised model for anomaly or outlier detection, unlike the regular supervised SVM. The one class SVM does not have target labels for the model training process. Instead, it learns the boundary for the normal data points and identifies the data outside the border to be anomalies. In this post, we will use Python's Sklearn library to implement one class SVM. You will learn the following after reading the post. How to train a one class support vector machine model. How to predict anomalies from a one class SVM model. How to change the default threshold for anomaly prediction. How to visualize the prediction results. Let's get started. The first step is to import libraries. We need to import make classification from Sklearn to create the modeling dataset. Import pandas and numpy for data processing. Counter will help us count the number of records. Matplotlib is for visualization. We also need the train test split to create training and validation dataset. One class VM for modeling. And classification report for model performance evaluation. Using make classification from the Sklearn library. We created two classes. The ratio between the majority class and the minority class is 0.995 to 0.005. Two informative features were made as predictors. We did not include any redundant or repeated features in this dataset. The output shows that we have about 1% of the data in the minority class and 99% in the majority class. The third step is to do a train test split for the imbalanced data. In this step, we split the dataset into 80% training data and 20% validation data. Random state ensures that we have the same train test split every time. The seed number for random state does not have to be 42, and it can be any number. The train test split gives us 80,000 records for the training dataset and 20,000 for the validation dataset. Thus, we have 79,183 data points from the majority class and 817 from the minority class in the training dataset. In step 4, we will train a one class SVM model. When training the one class SVM, there are a few critical hyperparameters. New is to specify the percentage of anomalies. New equals 0.01 means that we have around 1% outliers in the dataset. Kernel specifies the kernel type. The radial basis function kernel is a commonly used kernel type. It maps data from a low-dimensional space to a high-dimensional space to help the SVM model draw a decision boundary. Gamma is a kernel coefficient, and it is for RBF, poly, and sigmoid kernels. When setting it to auto, the kernel coefficient is 1 over the number of features. After training the one-class SVM model on the training dataset, in step 5, we make predictions on the testing dataset. By default, one class SVM labels the normal data points as ones and anomalies as negative ones. To compare the labels with the ground truth in the testing dataset, we change the anomalies labels from minus one to one and the normal labels from one to zero. The model has a recall values of 6%, meaning that it captures 6% of the anomaly data points. In step six, we will customize the threshold and label more or fewer data points as outliers. For example, in the code below, we find the score for 2% of the data points and use it as the prediction threshold. The recall value increased from 6% to 10% because we increased the threshold for anomalies. Step 7 will plot the data points and check the differences between actual one-class SVM prediction and customized one-class SVM prediction. We can see that one class SVM has a clear boundary and labeled the data points out of the boundary to be anomalies. When we increase the threshold for the score, more data points are labels as anomalies. In this tutorial, we went through how to use one class support vector machine to make anomaly detection. Using the Sklearn library in Python, we covered how to train a one class support vector machine model, how to predict anomalies from a one class SVM model how to change the default threshold for anomaly prediction, how to visualize the prediction results. If you found the information in this tutorial helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. 
I publish tutorials on machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing every week. If you prefer the written version of the tutorial, please go to grabandgoinfo.com. I will put the link in the video description. This is the blog post for this tutorial. It has all the code and explanations in this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.